easier to calculate the surface area of a cuboid, we have to recall that the net of a cuboid has six faces, and these six faces are rectangular in shape. So to calculate the surface area of a cuboid, we are to bear in mind that since it has six faces, the total surface area of a cuboid will be the sum of all the areas of the rectangle. Let's take note that the area of a rectangle is length multiplied by breadth. However, in the case of a cuboid, we are dealing with three variables, which are the length, the depth, and the height. To calculate the area of a rectangle, for side A, we'll have it to be length multiplied by depth. Side B, to be depth multiplied by height. Area of rectangle C, which is length multiplied by height. Area of rectangle D is depth multiplied by height. Area of rectangle E is length multiplied by depth. And lastly, area of rectangle F is length multiplied by height. The surface area will now be the sum of the areas of all the rectangles. This can be simplified as LD plus DH plus LH plus DH plus LD plus LH. When simplified further, we have 2LD plus 2DH plus 2LH. This can also be written as 2 into bracket LD plus DH plus LH. Let's look at this example. It says the cross section of a cuboid has sides 3 cm by 6 cm. Calculate the total surface area if the length is 40 cm. We are given the depth to be 6 cm, the height to be 3 cm. Let us recall that the formula for calculating surface area is 2 into brackets LD plus DH plus LH. Putting in the figures, we will have 2 into bracket length, which is 40 cm, multiplied by the depth, which is 6 cm, plus our depth, which is 6 cm, multiplied by 3 cm, which is our height, plus our length again, which is 40 cm, multiplied by 6 cm, representing our depth. When simplified further, Multiplying 40 centimeters by 3 centimeters, we get 120 centimeters. Multiplying 6 centimeters by 3 centimeters, we get 18 centimeters. And multiplying by 40 centimeters by 6 centimeters, we get 240 centimeters. When we add up all these figures together, it gives us 378 centimeters. We can then multiply 2 by 378 centimeters. This will give us 756 centimeters. Therefore, the total surface area of this cuboid is 756 centimeters square.